My name is Akira Idol Cruz from Grade 8 Mango. This is my performance test number 2 in MAPE 8. This is submitted to Mama Dora De Leon. Hello mga friendy! For today's video, we will discuss about premarital sex. What is premarital sex? It is sexual activity which is practiced by people before they are married. Historically, premarital sex has been considered a moral issue. What should we do to avoid premarital sex? The most effective way of defending premarital sex is spreading awareness of healthy sexuality among children. Train them to mingle with opposite sex in a mature way. Inspire them with mutual respect between man and woman. Premarital sex in the Philippines as of today, 32% of young Filipino aged 15 to 24 years old has engaged in premarital sex. 28.7% of young women now have premarital sex experience compared to 35.5% among young men. Now, let's go back to the questions that was asked at our module. Question number one. As a youngster, what are you going to do to prevent these things to happen? As a teenager, we must have an education about sexual and reproductive health and discuss some questions with teachers or parents. However, recent evidence suggests that the prevalence of marital relationships is rising among young people. There are risks of premarital sex. First, STD, sexual transmitted disease, including hepatitis, HIV, and syphilis, etc. Second, teenage pregnancy. Third, premarital banding, emotional manipulations. And you know guys, kung hindi tayo well-educated and wala tayong mapagtunungan or masabihan, maraming risk ang pwede natin makuha or mangyari sa atin. Know the right things to do. Always listen to our parents and guardian and stop early relationships at this young age. Question number two. Are you going to speak up to your family if certain concerns arise? Or will you go with the flow and do the same thing as well? Yes, I will ask some questions to my parents and they should know about the things that I'm curious of. As a teen, we should be hearing advisories on these subjects from responsible adults everywhere, at school, church, and within your extended family. Question number two. What do you think is the role of your family and parents in preventing these things to happen? Parents and family are expected to monitor their children's because parents are in regular contact with their children. They help to shape both their behavior and social context in which we will grow up. These processes are influenced by the family environment and by the values and behaviors of our parents and other family members. Parents should motivate to control and monitor their children's behavior for reasons such as respectability and protecting them from undesirable sexual and reproductive health outcomes. Conclusions Despite parents making effort to control and monitor the young people's sexual behavior, they are faced with several challenges like still time spent with their children, which make it difficult for them to effectively monitor them. There is a need for interventions such as parenting skills building that might enable parents to improve their relationship with their children. And that's it! I hope you understand and learned something from my video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching! Stay safe and God bless! Bye! Hello everyone! My name is Akira Idola Cruz from Grade 8 Mango. This is, this is my role. They have to. Yes, I will. I will. Yes. <laughs>